Hey everybody, it's Christine up today for the scrap room using the flavors of the month kit and I am going to be working with the photo play paper page kit from it. This one is, it's got like the gnome theme going on as well as like just an overall light and cheerful theme which is kind of perfect for life right now if I do say so myself. I decided to use it to tell a little bit about the stories of my two little boys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig into my stash of tools and I am going to use this letter board. And what this is, is a, it's a punch board from We Are Memory Keepers. It came out several years ago. Um, and it cuts really big letters. So what I wanted to do was create a really big title, but I know a lot of times we use our electronic cutting machines for that. And I just wanted to do something different today. So I am cutting out the letters to spell out bros. It's short for brothers. Um, and I'm using all different patterned papers. One of my goals with this, and one of the reasons I went with this tool specifically is because I wanted to use and highlight the really cool patterned papers in this page kit. And so that is what I'm doing at the moment. I'm just cutting out those letters and then I will use them to really be the showcase on this layout. Now, another fun detail of this layout is that it is a multi-photo layout. And of course, it's boy themed because it's about brothers. So all different fun elements that make it a little bit unique between the title, between multi-photos. Um, and kind of funny enough, I really didn't use that much of the actual gnome aspect <laughs> of this collection. But if that is your thing, if you're into the gnomes right now, this is a really fun one to get your hands on because they are super cute. I know it's a trending thing. Um, so don't don't look past that just because I didn't highlight those. That said, if it's not your thing, I also don't want you to think, oh, I can't use that page kit or I can't use that collection because you totally can. <laughs> Again, you can just overlook them. Um, so you've got definitely got options there when it comes to this page kit. The next thing I'm going to do with my big letters is I am just going to take a little distress ink cube and I am going to ink up the outsides. Why am I doing this? Well, this will allow it to have a little more distinction and pop off the page a little bit more than it currently is. Um, otherwise, it can get a little lost, a little blended in. It just helps to set things off just a little bit. Then once I've done that, to add even more dimension to it, I am going to use some crafty foam tape to pop these up on the page. Now, I am not going for a perfectly straight lined up look on this. I am going for them to be about the same, um, run in the same area in the middle third of the layout, but that's it. I, I'm okay with them being staggered and slanted and all that because I think that will really add to the fun and whimsy of the layout. I also know when I'm using big letters like this, all capitals, big, um, and this type of font, if I go straight across, things get very graphic and choppy looking right off the bat. So I'm trying to avoid that and keep things a little more light and whimsical as I was originally going for. Now let's dive into the pictures. I am going to use four pictures on this and these are pictures of my son. They were hanging out and talking and laughing and just having a fun little brotherly conversation and so I grabbed my camera and caught some candids of them. They didn't know. I mean, they looked up and saw I was taking pictures, so every once in a while I'd get them actually looking at the camera. But I've got some really cool ones of just some special moments between them, too. And I loved how they turned out, especially because I just liked how they were looking at each other in the pictures. Um, the, the eyes that show the love between them. So that is what I'm using. Um, and I couldn't pick less than four because I just liked them all. As I've been doing in a lot of my layouts, I'm also going to include some paper tearing. Um, that's a very trendy technique right now and so, so simple to incorporate. And so I'm gonna just grab some of that plaid paper that I have in my S and I am going to tear that 
and use it at the top and the bottom of my layout. As you can see there, I was considering if one of the other ones would be a better option, but I really like the way the plaid one looks. Now, additionally, I'm gonna make sure that I have the similar tearing on both of those. And what I mean by that is, depending how you tear, you can get the white inside core, or you can get the top layer of the tear. And so I'm trying to coordinate so both the top and the bottom are working. So I just cut two one inch strips so that I can make sure and get the white part to show because sometimes you really want that pop of white to um, add an additional accent and color to your layout. I'm also gonna use a little bit of that orange uh, corally-ish color additionally as another layer of tearing underneath the um, plaid there just again to bring in some more color and interest all these things come together the multi photos the big title the borders with significant technique in them to make it so that your embellishing can be a little less and your layout still has a really complete feel without having to do too many things or add too many things so all those details just come together really nicely because in the end when you look at this layout there's not a whole ton of crazy stuff going on here it's actually pretty simple and straightforward but because of the placement because of the sizing all those things make it come together like to look complete in spite of the fact that there's not 48 techniques on it now while I'm working on that let's talk a little bit about the scrap room it is a non-commitment kit club you get uh, the option of a flavors of the month kit which has four page kits and what that means is you get four different collections to play with each one will include three patterned papers it'll include some cardstock and some embellishments all give you a really good chance to test out a collection and see if you like it as well as to get the newest and best stuff that's available in the scrapbooking world right now in addition to that, she's also got the double shot kit, which provides you with another two page kits. You can also get an embellishment kit, a patterned paper kit, cardstock kit, all kinds of different options for you to play with. And she also sends along a little coffee sample. So that's also kind of fun. Um, all those things come together to make for a really fun subscription box type of kit where you just never know what exactly you're going to get and you get a variety instead of all just one thing. Um, really fun. Love it. Look forward to getting mine every single month. Be sure to check out her website and see what she has got available still this month. Um, I'm going to continue to finish off this layout now and I've got my title being built a little bit more. I'm going to add in the word happy there but what I'm going to do is tuck a little banner underneath it so that it will pop off the page just a little bit more and you can see I'm debating I've got it lightly stuck on there just to see what I want to do with it um, I really like the font on that happy and I like the way it has the yellow and green and so I wanted to find a way to be able to include it as well as a way to get more verbiage on the layout so now I've added it to the banner and I'm tucked that underneath my top pictures and use the stickers for that. Then I also created a banner down below. That one combines some stickers and some ephemera and then I topped the whole thing off with some gold nouveau drops as my final accent. Thank you so much for being here today. Be sure to check out the latest kits from the scrap room and we will see you next time.